r slash rules horror posted by u slash m4dd31 i'm going out of state here are my housekeeping rules welcome you may have already guessed this but you are looking after my home and my dog whilst i'm out of state for a while this job is not an easy one so i've laid out a few house rules to help you keep on track should you ever feel lost or not know what to do one keep the place clean i doubt you'd mess this one up i have a lot of trust in you but one of my former house sitters threw a party without my permission and left the place in a state. It was awful to clean up. To feed the dog. It should be obvious and courteous to do so, but if you let the bull run empty then there could be some nasty consequences. You may not see the dog but she's most definitely there, and she's a big dog. If she comes to sit with you, don't shoo her away. It's a privilege. 3. Lock the doors before 8 p.m. If the clock ticks over to 8.01 and you haven't locked the doors, you'll become a target. 4. I have two sisters that will come and check on you daily. They are kind. Each sister will visit every alternating day. If the same sister visits two consecutive days, do not answer. Lock the doors until 10 a.m. the following day. 5. You are free to eat whatever you like except for the cake and the glass dome on the end of the countertop. That's my mother's cake. She will know if you've so much as touched it. 6. You may occasionally see a fox in my back garden. This is good. The fox is friendly and you may go outside to see him. Only feed him meat-based foods and he will return every day. If, one day, you see more than one fox, it means you made a mistake, and they are looking for you. Lock the door two hours early that night, because you have made yourself a target. 7. The children who play in the street are typical teenagers. Loud, rude, self-absorbed, all the rest. They will cause you problems. Do not give them any snarky or rude responses in return. They will tell their parents. You will become a target. Bizarrely, if you have any beauty spots, moles or freckles on your face, it means you are one of us and you are safe from them. Still, do not engage, just to be safe. 8. Left-handed people are immediately a target. I myself am left-handed, I have 15 rolls of gauze bandages in the cupboard behind my bathroom mirror specifically for this circumstance. Wrap up your left hand. Trust me, it works. 9. My art studio. Upstairs second door on the left, is off limits. There's nothing suspicious in there, mostly just paintings pertaining to shows or games that I like, Super Mario, South Park, etc., as well as some commissioned paintings. If for any reason you need to go in there, however, do not touch any of the Team Fortress 2 paintings. They are not mine, nor did I paint them. There's only one circumstance in which you'd need to use them. 10. If any of the aforementioned paintings somehow find their way to the walls, it will most definitely be the painting of the sniper appearing above the fireplace in the living room. Do not move it. It is protecting you. If it is a painting of any of the other mercenaries, take it down immediately. You are now a target. 11. The aspirin in my medical box can't be trusted. It will more than likely kill you. Do not take it. Take a paracetamol instead. 12. Don't get blood on my dining table. This one probably sounds ridiculous, but believe me it is far easier to bleed on the dining table than you think. You may not even notice it. If you do, you will become a target. 13. If my mother knocks on the door at any point in your stay, ask her what she's here for. If she mentions the cake, give it to her. If she mentions anything, anything else, tell her that you cannot help. She will leave. 14. I do not have children. Any children found in my house during your stay must be politely escorted out. Do not worry about how the child got there, worry more about yourself. If you do not make them leave they could make you a target. Get rid of them. 15. If you become a target, there's only one way to redeem yourself. I have a couple of candles stored under my kitchen sink. Take the red one, place it in the center of the slab fireplace and surround it with a circle of salt. Go to my art studio and retrieve the painting of the sniper that I mentioned earlier. Hang it above the fireplace. You must bid your sorrows and ask for forgiveness before the candle. Then light it. Don't move too far away from the candle, try to keep it in your sight. If it goes out before 11 p.m. then you have failed. If it doesn't go out before 11 p.m., then go to sleep and pray that you wake up in the same bed that you got in. And God help you if you wake up elsewhere, because you're in for a horrific final 24 hours of your life. If you become a target and fail to perform the redemption ritual in the same night, you will be hunted down by seekers for the following days until they catch you. Seekers are very human-like. They appear in the forms of the people you love, family and friends. Pay close attention to everybody around you. If they were to suddenly begin using their left hand, 
or had marks on their face that you don't recall being there, then they are a seeker. Exterminate them before they exterminate you. You have two weeks. Good luck. If you succeed, you'll be rewarded oh so generously. If you don't succeed, you'll know. You won't be alive to tell the story. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash Marie Antoinette fan. Walking through the woods, are we? So, you've entered the woods, huh? Maybe you like the scenery, or maybe your dog ran through while you weren't looking, or maybe you're going to see to your old granny on the other side. Either way, there's a few rules you need to be aware of if you want to survive the experience. 1. Don't speak the rules out loud. They are to be heard, not spoken. If you decide to ignore this rule, be prepared to lose your tongue. 2. Don't acknowledge me. I don't exist as far as you're aware. If you do decide to acknowledge me, they will kill you quickly. They are far too possessive. 3. Some of these rules are time sensitive, you don't have a phone with you so be careful to mind the time. 4. Once you start walking, you cannot turn back. It is physically impossible for you to do so, I suggest not trying. 5. After you've stepped exactly 115 times, you will pass by a picnic. The blanket will be red, and the little girl will not have eyes. Do not look at her, do not talk to her, do not stop. She doesn't like to be interrupted during tea time. She might follow you, if she does that means you have done this rule incorrectly, continue to ignore her, she will get bored. 6. If you talk to the little girl, she will ask you about someone named hash dollar and carrot. Do not acknowledge this name. They will kill you quickly, the woods are far too possessive. Or, do acknowledge the name. You're already dead at this point. 7. If the woods start to darken, you have chosen the wrong path. No, it does not matter that there were no other pathways, you took the wrong one. Please apologize to the trees. If you don't, you will not find a way out of the woods. You will not find a way out of the 8. If you took the right path, it should lead you to a field. Don't enter it, it is not the way out of the woods. Instead, look to see if there is a pathway around it. If there is one, then you are safe to follow it. If there are two, you should only take the left one. 9. Once you reach the stump you should wait by it until the sun starts to set. You will know the stump when you see it. If you have not reached the stump by the time the sun sets, may God forgive you because they won't. 10. Once the sun sets you can start walking again. While you do, you might notice them. They can only be seen at night. 11. Do look at them, they like the attention. But be careful, they are jealous creatures and might start to fight for your attention. There is nothing you can say to stop a fight if one occurs. Don't try to touch them, it ends badly. The only thing to do is to speed walk away, don't run. It alerts them of prey. 12. Don't be too generous with your glances, heaven forbid they start to like you. 13. You want them to like you. 14. Don't listen to voices that aren't my own. They don't like it when I talk to others. If you think they like you, they don't. 15. Continue walking until you come across a herd of deer. Don't look them in the eyes. Don't touch them. Instead you should close your eyes and listen as they run. Follow the direction of where you think they're heading. 16. If you've followed them correctly, then you're outside of the woods and can open your eyes again. 17. You will know if you didn't follow the right direction. I hope it was worth it. Walking through the woods tonight.